or shortly before then, we know the spate of violent crime in Lagos State. That, that, that gave rise to Operation um, OPC. Uh, OPC and the rest. Tinubu, on his own wisdom, decided to create what they call the Security Trust Fund. Every company in Lagos State were paying a certain percentage of their profits. Until now, we're hearing of the Shino Rambos, we're hearing of violent crime in Lagos. The, 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 the uh, logical way to tackle it was to fund that trust fund, and they were equipping the security, um, various security uh, organization in Lagos. Subsequently, we begin to see, you know, the, the decline of crime rate. Of course, you cannot eliminate uh, totally crime in a society. But that particular violent crime, where we have transborder criminals holding Lagos hostage, and we believe that Tinibu will be able to assemble professionals that we work around issue about using technology, issue about having commitment to fight crime. Yeah, there are crime everywhere in U.S. In the last 40, uh, four months, we've had people who will carry gun and go to school and shoot. So, but the ability to deter people from committing crime is what we think that Tinibu has the capacity because he has demonstrated it in Lagos. And we know that once we uh, deploy technology in our, for example, what you said happened in Buari, up to now, of course, we have not seen drones, we have not seen, Buari is not a big, thick forest. But we know that once we deploy technology, crime will certainly reduce. And uh, we, he, he's somebody that work with sound minds. It's somebody that identifies people that can provide solutions. They have demonstrated that in Lagos before now. Thank you. Then in addition to that, quickly, uh, he was talking about that religion issue. I think the, we condemn totally the security situation in the country, no doubt. No one is happy about that. But most importantly, I think Nigerians should note here that this insecurity we see in different places he is not motivated by religion. You can't say that. You can see that this uh, train uh, kidnappers, the victim of this uh, Kaduna train, you discover that you even have Muslims who are victim of insecurity in the country. I am from the south. There is insecurity in the south. In Delta State, for example, where I came yeah. from, Saple particularly for some yeah. days now, you see people being killed in Saple. Is it, is it coupled with religion? Is it motivated by religion? No. So I don't want situation, even the media too should help us. Even in the southeast. Yes, his security, is it, is it on religion basis? Is it on issue of Muslim or Christian that bring it? No. His security, if, you, if you are going on the way Amrabah stopped you, will he ask you, uh, before he will take your money, will he ask you, are you a Muslim or you are a Christian before he co collect your thing? Nothing or such. And finally, our principal, Bola Ahmed Tinibu, is a man of action. You can know that. He's a man of action. Once he speaks, he's implemented. And in Nigeria, we need a leader with action. That is one of the basic fundamental reasons why Tinibu is best for our nation. He's not a man that will make promises and fail. We don't want a situation whereby they will say they will transform the uh, Anambra State to London and you have opportunity to rule there, you didn't do it. In Lagos, we have set record. If you know you have your record, play, place it on the table. Let's place Tinibu record on the table. The difference is clear. You will see the difference yourself. Because they say, well, you, if you want to know what a man can do, is to know what he has done in the past. So put these two records. One was governor for two, uh, eight years. One was governor for eight years. Then the other one was vice president. Let's put the records down. We had to privatize and personalize our national properties. So thank you and God bless you. Uh, they will not give Tinibu power. They will not give him, he will not win the primaries. We have moved, of course, unfortunately, you are a press man. The same rumor, thank God that is a rumor. If you have said, uh, Erufai, I have moved, then we can tackle that issue. As long as it's a rumor, we'll keep it as a rumor. The party is as well as strong as it is. Yeah, people will feel dissatisfied because of their micro interest. If people they come from uh, Ogun State, you said, it's not because they don't, uh, maybe what happened within their own 
But you only see people joining the uh, APC in Delta State today. We have seen mass movements of, of uh, Erubebe was a strong PDP man. He had moved to APC. So you, we will not isolate people who have moved away from APC and think that other people are not equally joining the party. We appreciate the fact that the country is going through a terrible time. However, we must all collectively put our hands together and salvage the country. Yes, I've not, I've not a spokesperson or we don't belong to PDP, neither uh, Labour. We can talk about our party. Our party is working hard to win the election. And by the grace of God, Nigerian, we see good leadership.